You're killing me over love. All right, guys, it is day number three here in Panama City, and we're actually just checking out of this beautiful place. Um, we just found out that Corporate Stays is actually going to be putting us in another place which is in Old Town. Old Town is kind of like the place to be in all of Panama City. If you're coming to visit this place, which I highly recommend, you're gonna wanna check out Old Town. It's a little more expensive, but it's beautiful. Uh, it's very safe. And uh, currently we're in a neighborhood, probably like central Panama City. I, I honestly don't know the name. Alright guys, we're back in Casco Viejo, the old town. If you remember the first vlog, I flew the drone right by there. You're a little too close, but too far. Ooh, look at this. What? <laughs> Holy. This place is so swanky. Oh, hi there Blake. Hey. Just doing some work on our extended patio. Oh, very nice. Continue. And just over here, just making some uh, macaroni and cheese. A specialty because it doesn't cost much money. Blake and I are getting a little romantic tonight here at our corporate stay. This place is amazing guys. I'm so excited to be here and we're in the best part of town eating some of the best food like all stars. Craft dinner. Eat craft dinner everywhere you go. Travel budgeting tip of the day brought to you by craft dinner. Hey, hey what's up? Welcome back to the vlog. <laughs> we're gonna go explore around Panama City. Where are we going to? Like to the Causeway. Causeway. Alright, let's do it. Waking up, feeling the taste of our fight love. This here is Old Town. It's absolutely beautiful. And now that you're gone, I'm thinking about old times. I've waited so long. So we've just arrived here in the Causeways, and it's super cool because you come outside of busy Panama City on this really narrow stretch and you're surrounded by the ocean. You've got people parking their boats on each side. But now we're gonna rent a bike. We're gonna bike around the area. Um, I know there's go-karting, paintballing, and a bunch of restaurants over here. So we're just gonna kind of look around, get some bikes. saw the vlog when I was in Manila and I broke Will Dasovich's bike. The exact same thing happened, except this time it was not my fault. They gave me the dumpiest bike in the world and the actual gear shift came off the bike, got lodged in like all of the stuff. It's busted, it's not working. But we're gonna fly the drone, make the most of it. I'm sweating so much right now guys. So we brought my broken bike back. Didn't ask any questions, they just gave me a new one. I assume they see broken bikes every day. They're all pieces of crap. We went around a big circle, all the way up to this mountain. What more could you ask for? Look at that view guys. So this is the top of Causeway. It's like that stuff you see on TV when people are like on the side of a tower. So right now we are in Eduardo's car, we're heading back to our hotel and then from there we're gonna go find ourselves a Panamanian dinner because we've actually not really had any traditional meals just yet. Um, Eduardo was saying it's actually not easy to find what you would call authentic Panamanian food and I'm not exactly sure why that is. Um, Eduardo said that it's personally not his favorite kind of food 
but you can find it. And so he's given us a couple of names. We're gonna go check out one of them. I know that the fish market, we had uh, ceviche yesterday, and that's Peruvian food, so that's not even Panamanian. But um, tonight, we're going to eat Panamanian food. Hopefully we see you before we leave, but sure. if not, thank you for showing us around. All right, dude. Check that sky right now. That is heavenly. It looks like the gates of heaven have opened up and there's just like light radiating through. You can actually see the beams of light running through the sky. Major key. And there's the Uber. Right now we're heading off to a Panamanian restaurant to try some Panamanian food. So about 10 minutes outside of Old Town, we are right now at Tanajas and this is it right here. Look at that. And we're closed. Oh, no. <laughs> this reminds me of that uh, Thai, Thai meal we had when we arrived in Bangkok. The key is to find authentic food with a non-authentic price. Let's see how much it costs. Everything in Panama has been surprisingly expensive, so this is probably going to be a bit of an expensive meal. I guess I found what I'm looking for. This thing is called a typical Panamanian dish. There's no explanation as to what's in it, but it's typical, and that's why I'm here. So I'm going to get that. I just asked the guy, I'm like, uh, so what's inside the typical Panamanian dish? And he explained it. He's like, ah, oh, it's like bread, blah, 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 it's uh, chicken, it's rice. And then it, I'm like, do most people like it? And he's like, no. Like, no, most people don't like it. <laughs> so Blake and I are gonna split the typical Panamanian dish. We're gonna get something else as like a backup in case it's really no good. This is a beer I had at the fish market, the Panama Lager, and this is my favorite of the domestic beers so far. So that's the traditional Panamanian meal, and this is plan B, when, if we don't like it. Guys, this is really good. That's for the traditional Peruvian meal. You'll have no idea what's in it, but you'll love it. I guarantee it. So altogether, that came to 41 US dollars, so definitely not a cheap place, but an amazing meal. Now we're gonna head back to the hotel and call it a night. All right, we are back. Uh, Le Chateau. Somebody recently asked how we managed to get the past two vlogs to be such a high quality level. And I wanted to show you how we're currently operating the business to enable us to, first of all, get out the content on a daily basis. Uh, we've been doing 12 p.m. posting times, Eastern time. And how do we manage to do that and yet still have such high quality content? This is how we do it. In the past, it has been me and me only doing all the editing from uh, you know importing the clips onto a hard drive, cutting all the clips, color grading the clips, throwing in stupid jokes, exporting the video, uploading the video, creating a thumbnail, tweaking the title around to make sure the video is attractive, putting in the description, which is basically like a little mini paragraph, adding the appropriate tags, linking the video from one to another. Those are the steps that go into uploading a video and that happens every single day if you can manage to pull it off. Now to go full circle, how we're doing it is this is my computer, Blake has his computer with him, so Blake is being an incredible help. He actually takes all the memory cards, he will import all of the files, drags them onto an external hard drive, just like this one here. Once it's on that hard drive, he actually opens up a project in Final Cut, which is the editing software that I use, and he just basically makes all the cuts that are necessary. So anything that was not usable for the vlog, he'll delete it, He'll just basically give me like the perfect reel of stuff that I get to play with and turn into the finalized vlog. If you've noticed a difference in the quality of the past two vlogs, it's because of this. It has allowed me to free up more of my time to work on the things that I really enjoy doing, which is color grading, which is adding in silly jokes. When I'm editing on my own and trying to do all these things, it's very hard to get to the very last step and be like, okay, now I wanna make sure the color grading looks at its best and now I wanna make sure the B sequence is good, I wanna make sure I have the right song, but that is, in short, <laughs> too long, didn't read, it's because of Blake. He is allowing me to focus on the important things. That's currently how I'm running the business. This is how I can basically allow myself to continually get daily content out and make sure that it's the high quality stuff that you guys wanna see. Guys, I hope you enjoyed today's vlog. I'm gonna call it quits here. Leave the video a big thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, hit subscribe, and guys, let's get lost again tomorrow. Fan of the day.